Have you ever wondered what happens when you fall into a black hole? A question that has arrested the minds of many, from the most brilliant astrophysicists to the curious bystanders in the cosmos. Black holes, these elusive infinite chasms in the fabric of space-time, have long been the source of both fascination and fear. Imagine, if you will, a region of space so incredibly dense that not even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can escape its gravitational pull. It's like a cosmic trapdoor from which once entered, there is no return. But what's beyond that event horizon, the boundary beyond which there is no turning back, remains one of the greatest mysteries of our universe. Black holes have always been cloaked in an aura of danger and destruction, often portrayed as monstrous vacuum cleaners of the cosmos, indiscriminately devouring everything that dares to venture too close. But is this the reality, or is it a perception born of our human fear of the unknown? You see, black holes are not the cosmic villains we often make them out to be. Yes, they are powerful and unforgiving, but they also play a crucial role in the cosmos. They help to regulate the growth of galaxies and are key players in the formation of stars. They are the silent sculptors of the universe, shaping and molding the cosmic panorama we see today. And yet, they remain largely misunderstood. The general perception of black holes is often tainted with misconceptions and fear. They are seen as all-consuming, destructive forces, when in reality, they are a natural and necessary part of our universe. They're enigmas, yes, but they're also fascinating testaments to the sheer power and complexity of the cosmos. Not all that glitters is gold, and not all that is dark is empty. Let's delve deeper into the world of black holes. Black holes weren't always a part of our cosmic vocabulary. The genesis of their discovery is a tale of intellectual curiosity and relentless pursuit of the unknown. It all started with a man named Albert Einstein and his groundbreaking theory of general relativity. This theory, published in 1915, changed our understanding of gravity, positing that massive objects cause a distortion in space-time which is perceived as gravity. As scientists began to grapple with the implications of Einstein's theory, a physicist named Karl Schwarzschild found a solution to Einstein's equations that predicted the existence of points of no return. Regions in space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. These points were later termed as black holes. However, even Einstein himself was skeptical of their existence and considered them a mere mathematical curiosity. The concept of singularity also emerged around this time. A singularity in the context of black holes refers to a point in space where the gravitational field becomes infinite. In simpler terms, it is the very heart of a black hole where matter is believed to be infinitely dense. Despite the theoretical predictions, it wasn't until the mid-20th century that we got the first indirect evidence for the existence of black holes. Astronomers observed objects in space behaving in a manner that could only be explained by the presence of a massive, invisible entity. A black hole. These celestial bodies were devouring stars, bending light and distorting the very fabric of space-time. The discovery of black holes opened up a new frontier in the study of the cosmos. It challenged our understanding of the universe and the laws that govern it. Even today, black holes continue to captivate scientists and laymen alike, their existence a testament to the power of gravity and the enigma that is our universe. Thus, black holes were born not from the womb of the cosmos, but from the heart of human curiosity and intellect. What makes a black hole a black hole? A question that has puzzled many a mind. A black hole is not just a spot of nothingness in space, it's a region where gravity has become so overpoweringly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. To understand the anatomy of a black hole, we need to focus on two key components, the event horizon and the singularity. The event horizon is the point of no return, a boundary in space-time beyond which we can gather no information. It's like the ultimate cosmic curtain, hiding the heart of the black hole from our prying eyes. Once you cross this threshold, there's no coming back. The pull of gravity is too strong. Now, let's delve deeper to the very core of a black hole, the singularity. 
Within this minuscule point, matter is squashed into an infinitesimally small, infinitely dense dot. It's here that our understanding of physics breaks down, and the laws of the universe as we know them cease to apply. A singularity is where gravity becomes infinite, space and time become one, and reality as we perceive it warps and twists in ways we can't yet comprehend. The role of gravity in a black hole is paramount. It's gravity that pulls in everything, from stars to dust to light itself. It's this same gravity that creates the phenomenon known as spaghettification. Picture this. You're falling into a black hole feet first. The gravitational pull on your feet would be much stronger than that on your head, stretching you out like a piece of spaghetti. It might sound like a scene from a science fiction novel, but in the realm of black holes this is reality. The anatomy of a black hole, as we understand it, paints a picture of some of the most extreme conditions in the universe. These cosmic beasts are not just empty spaces, they're regions of intense gravitational pull, where the very fabric of space and time is warped beyond recognition. They are enigmatic, fascinating, and a testament to the sheer power and mystery of our universe. Black holes have garnered a fearsome reputation as cosmic monsters. Indeed, these celestial giants are the ultimate hunters of the cosmos, lurking in the dark corners of galaxies, lying in wait for unsuspecting stars and gas clouds to come too close. Once within their gravitational clutches, there's no escape. Stars are torn asunder, gas clouds are sucked in, and all of it spirals into the black hole's event horizon, never to be seen again. Now imagine a black hole with such an insatiable appetite that it feeds off not just a single star, but an entire galaxy. These are known as active galactic nuclei, or AGN for short. They reside at the very heart of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and are so powerful they can outshine all the stars within their host galaxy. But what fuels these AGN? The answer lies in the black hole's diet. When black holes feast on matter, they emit an enormous amount of energy. This energy is then funneled into jets that shoot out from the black hole, creating a beacon of light so bright it can be seen across the universe. These are known as quasars, the most luminous objects in the cosmos, yet despite their destructive nature, black holes are not the villains of our cosmic story. Far from it, they are the architects of galaxies, shaping their formation and evolution. Without them, Galaxies as we know them would cease to exist. They help to regulate star formation, stir up interstellar gas, and even drive the growth of galaxies. So while black holes might seem like the cosmic equivalent of a ravenous beast, they are a vital cog in the universe's grand machine. They are the ultimate recyclers, taking in matter and energy and spewing it back out in a different form. While they might be the monsters under the cosmic bed, black holes play a crucial role in the grand scheme of the universe. They are, in essence, the galaxy devourers, a testament to the cosmic cycle of death and rebirth that governs our universe. The study of black holes is a journey that is far from over. The field has recently been invigorated by some groundbreaking advancements. The year 2019 was one for the history books, as we got our first real image of a black hole. This was no small feat, considering these celestial entities swallow everything, including light, making them incredibly difficult to photograph. Yet, the Event Horizon Telescope team managed to snap an image of the supermassive black hole at the heart of the galaxy, Messier 87. In addition to this, the detection of gravitational waves has offered a new avenue for studying black holes. These ripples in the fabric of space-time, first predicted by Albert Einstein, were finally observed in 2015 by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO. This discovery confirmed that black holes could merge and create these waves, providing another tool for scientists to uncover the secrets of these galaxy devourers. Looking to the future, the next frontier in black hole research is to fully understand their interiors or singularities. These regions, where gravity becomes infinite and our understanding of physics breaks down, are the greatest mysteries of black holes. Understanding singularities could possibly lead us to a theory of quantum gravity, a holy grail in theoretical physics. 
The exploration of black holes is also poised to take a leap forward. With the advent of more advanced telescopes and space probes, we may soon be able to study black holes up close and personal. There's even wild speculation about harnessing the energy of black holes or using them as gateways to other parts of the universe. As we continue to stare into the abyss of black holes, we can only dream of what secrets await us. The journey is far from over, and with every new discovery, we get a glimpse of the overwhelming grandeur and complexity that lies within the cosmos.